everyone, so today's video is going to be a prom tutorial. I just spent the last 20 minutes trying to make this uh, makeup really perfect and filming it for you guys. Don't worry, the video is not going to be 20 minutes. I'm going to edit it down as much as I can. It's going to be way less than 20 minutes, but I made sure I made this look really, really perfect for you guys. Um, something I didn't mention in the video, I would use a setting spray after you're done with all the makeup. I would use either the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. They have a little mini one for $11. My sister bought it. I've used it. I really, really like it. I didn't put it on right now because I don't want to waste her bottle, but I'm definitely going to buy um, a really big bottle for when I start doing other people's makeup uh, for prom because I'm going to do a lot of like my high school friends makeup uh, for prom. So I'm really excited about that. Um, so yeah, I was going to just practice looks for prom and stuff, and I figured that I should film them while I'm practicing them. So this is the look that I came up with today. I think that it's so, so, so pretty. It's, um, it's really, really nice. It doesn't have any false lashes because I don't think I need false lashes for this look. I, I don't know. I feel like, um... False, ash, false lashes would would add to this look, especially if you don't have long eyelashes. But I figured that I could do without them, and I always did without them for dances for high school. But if you like to go all out with eyelashes, then by all means, um, you know, put on your favorite lashes. And yeah, I'm so excited for this tutorial just because it's so pretty and so smoky. And then um, a little bit of the lid color just catches the light perfectly and uh this face is definitely going to photograph very well so i'm going to show you guys um all the products that you need to create this look and yeah just request more uh looks for prom and i will definitely be doing so them. i hope that you all enjoy this video and let's just get into the tutorial right now the first thing i'm going to do is take a powder brush and this is the one that i usually use for my powder i'm not going to put any extra powder on it but i'm just going to sweep it over my eyes because it does have a little bit of residue from when i did put my powder on so i'm just removing any oils that i might have on my eyelids so that they are ready to be primed for makeup then I'm going to be applying my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, so I'm just going to get a little drop right there on my eyelid, and I'm just going to rub it in so that my makeup will stay all day with this primer. Once you have that rubbed in all over the top and bottom lids, now it's time for an eyeshadow base. I'm using Urban Decay Rehab 24-7 Shadow Pencil, and I'm just concentrating it on um, the lower part of the top lid, and then blending it up almost to the crease so I'm blending it out actually I'm gonna blend it out a little bit past the crease but that's just blending it out keeping um, most of the color just right down here but then make sure you blend it out because that'll help the eyeshadows blend a lot quicker or a lot better if you do it like that then I'm going to be using my Too Faced uh, Smoky Eye Kit, and you can use similar colors, or you can buy this whole palette because this is what I'm going to be using for the look. So um, this color is called Cloves, and I really like this color because it's kind of an antique gold color, and it's just really, really pretty. Um, I don't know if you could find something similar to this. I've never seen anything else like it, but if you do have something similar, then go ahead and use that. But I'm just going to be patting that on the lid. And you can just see how pretty this color is. It catches the light really well. And I really like that about it. So next I'm going to be taking an angled shadow brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blend out the edges of this look. Or of this lid color. Because I really don't want it to be so harsh. And the reason I like this angled brush is because... It's kind of wider. You guys could see that. It's kind of wider and it's just easier to um, blend out the colors. It's not so stiff either. And then also just get some color on that brush. So what I'm going to be doing is getting this kind of um, satiny, almost matte color called Up in Smoke. And it's just a cool toned um rich brown and I'm just going to kind of take the angled part of it and go like this make a cat eye shape and then 
also take it into the crease. So take the cat eye shape across the edge of your eye, the outer edge, and then also just put it in the crease and then blend it. Just so that it looks really, really smoky. You really want it to be as smoky as possible. Then add a little of the color for extra definition. So what I'm going to be doing is just adding it so that the color is a little bit deeper and darker. And so that it looks a little bit more harsh. Then taking a pencil brush, I'm going to take this matte black right here. It's called Smoking Hot. And these are all from the same palette. And I'm just going to be making that outer V shape so that this just all blends together really nicely and it's nice and deep and dark because that's exactly how it is on this side it's just deep and dark and just a really nice look all together. So now the key to all of my looks mostly is just blending so I'm just going back over the um, the second step just using that eyeshadow brush to blend and you really just want this to look as blended and as nice as possible. It's not going to have too much blending on the outer corners. Um, it doesn't have to be super duper blended. Uh, I'm okay with a little bit of harsh edges for this particular look. If you don't like harsh edges, try not to apply so much color to the end. But I really wanted it to be dramatic at the end. So if uh, that's not your style for prom, then I would definitely try to apply less color to begin with. Next, I'm just going to be reinforcing that um, lid color so that it doesn't get lost. It kind of does get lost at the end of the look. But you really just want it to stay glossy because it'll look really good in pictures if you have uh, kind of that glimmering effect on your Next, eyelid. I'm going to be taking taking my pressed powder and I'm going to dip a flat shading brush in that, blow it off a little bit, and then I'm just going to be blending out. You can use a matte eyeshadow. Um, the palette doesn't have a matte eyeshadow in it. I love Revlon Vintage Lace. It's just a little too white for this look, so I prefer to use something that's a little closer to my skin tone to buff everything out because for this look I just didn't want any white to my eyes. Then I'm going to be using Max I Get No Kick eyeliner and I'm just going to be putting this on the inner corners of my eyes so that it just stays really really bright. I'm topping that with the color Firefly and just this little pointed brush. It's really precise that's what I like about it um, and you can just get it in there on the top. These brushes are all by Royal and Lay, and Lay Nickel, by the way. So uh, if you guys want me to do a review on this brush set, which I'm probably going to do anyway. I just need to, um, you know, find, like, the time to wash them and everything. Um, I will definitely do that. So this is what the eye should look like. Um, all the top eyeshadow is done. And now I'm just going to smoke out the bottom a little bit. So I'm going to be taking that same rehab pencil and just putting it all along the bottom lash line. And then connect that matte black with the crease brush, or with the pencil brush, whatever kind of brush you want to call it. And then I'm just going to fill in my brows with this Up in Smoke color because it's pretty dark and you do want your eyebrows to be a little bit dark for pictures and stuff like that. So I'm just going to use this angled brush and fill in my eyebrows just like that. Then I'm going to rim my eyes with Milani Easy Liner in black. So I'm just going to put that on the waterline. Then taking one of these little angled brushes in a Smashbox Cream Liner, I'm just going to apply my eyeliner um, a little bit thicker on the outside and thinner on the inside, but I'm not going to wing it out or anything. So I'm going to do that off camera. And I also just went ahead and applied my mascara. So uh, this look would look amazing with false lashes. My lashes are already pretty long though. And they don't need much curling or anything. So I'm just going to show you what um, the look looks like. And the mascaras that I used were the L'Oreal Voluminous uh, Carbon Black. Which, uh, as you guys know, is one of my favorite mascaras. And then I also use the Maybelline One by One, which is becoming one of my favorite mascara. So, um, yeah, so if you want your lashes to look false, my advice is to double up on your mascaras and just uh, make sure that you get every single lash and uh, you cut the base of your lashes very, very well. So the first thing I used is this Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in uh, Exposed, and I take a little blush brush, again, from Royal and Langnickel, 
and I actually use this to contour so I just contour like from the edge of my eye the outer corner of my eye out into my hairline so yeah I just contour like right under my cheekbones slash on my cheekbones I don't really put it in the hollow of my cheek because I want my cheekbones to appear higher and just, um, I don't know. I just really like how this comes out. Then using my foundation brush, um, one of the ones from Walmart, not the one from Royal and Langnickel because I actually use that for my foundation. Um, I'm using Tango and Highlight from NYX and it's just a very gold toned, really pretty uh, highlighter. So I'm just going to be putting that on there and just highlighting this inside part of my face this whole inside area and then bringing it up as well it photographs phenomenally I just really really love this product I think it's awesome and then for that little pop of color that you see over here I'm taking a Walmart stippling brush and uh, this color uh, pink frosting from the Maybelline dream bouncy blushes and I'm just kind of sticking my brush in there and then popping that on my cheeks and you guys could see how bright this color is a lot of people complain that these don't have a lot of pigment but I really love these blushes I think they give the perfect amount of color and um, this looks like just like a very illuminated fresh cheek and it really goes with the nice dramatic so I'm also eye. using that dream bouncy blush on my lips make sure you use a lip balm before this Kind of just mattifies it a little bit, but gives it that pop of pink. And then I'm using Revlon Lip Butter and Sugar Frosting. So the lips are a little bit lighter and a little more shiny when the pop of color is on your cheeks and then you have the nice smoky eye. So I think that this all goes together and I think that it's just really, really pretty for prom. So I hope that you all enjoy this look and have a good day and uh, request down below what other looks that you'd like to see for prom and I will see you all later. Bye!